Alright guys, in this video we are going to be creating a simple form validation to check whether the user has entered an email address or not. And there's a couple of uh, way, uh, checks you can do to make sure that user has entered at least a valid uh, structure of an email address. Now before you do that, I'm going to assume that you have followed my uh, previous video and uh, I'm not going to delete all this and write again. Now uh, let's say I'm going to change a couple of function names and the names of my uh, input type and so on so that it's going to be a validate email instead of validate form. So in my form tag, in my uh, form on submit attribute, I'm going to return validate email. So my function is going to be called validate email. So I'm going to go to my script tag and I'm going to change this to validate email. And what I'm also going to do is delete this uh, if document. Uh, no, not sorry, if statement. Now I'm also going to change the name of this from username which is over here to email and we are going to change the name of my input type email like so and at the same time I need to change this variable text uh, one of the values to email so the form name hasn't changed it's still anything because it can be anything and the input type name is going to be email now and the submit button is not going to change and that's it look oops and I'm going to confirm and we now have an email uh, text field and we have a normal submit button and what we're going to do is uh, check that the user has typed in an email address okay so we have var text equal document dot forms anything email dot value that is going to be fine because we want uh, the text to be the value of the submitted uh, text or the submitted string in in over oops in over here like so now what we're going to do is I'm going to write some code before I explain because it's a bit complicated var at pos equals at uh, equals text dot index of and then inside here we are going to write at. On the next one, we are going to create another uh, variable called dot pos or dot position, it doesn't mind, equals text dot last oops, index of. And inside here, we're going to write dot. Okay. And we're going to create an if statement and inside the condition we are going to say if at pause is big uh, less than one or if dot pause is uh, smaller than at pause plus two or if dot pause plus two is bigger than uh, text dot length we are going to say alert not a valid uh, please enter please enter a valid email address and we are going to return false like last time okay that's a lot of weird code that you've never seen before and let me explain it one by one now this uh, function, validate email, it checks if the context uh, has a general uh, structure, a syntax of an email. So uh, normally, if you go over here, the email has like uh, something at something dot com, okay, or dot code at UK or anything like that. So this is a, a general syntax. We have one at, we have one dot. And we uh, uh, and in front of it we have like I don't know hello at hotmail.com or something at gmail.com and stuff. So this is the general structure of an email, and this uh, checks whether it the submitted uh, text meets that general structure. Okay, so this is a variable called at pause, and this checks the position of the at sign. So hopefully you've uh, know you've uh, seen my 
other variable uh, video sorry which checks for the text dot index of the position of the at and the next one the dot pos is the pos it checks the position of dot now because the structure of the email could be like hello dot adam at uh, gmail.com basically it checks the position of the last dot because you can have dot in the email name it basically looks at the last dot because after this like gmail.com we can't have any dots if it's a valid email address so these two variables looks at the position of the at symbol and the last dot after like gmail and before com or co.uk or something like that now after that, we are going, we created an if statement. We say if at pose the position uh, at pause at pause the position of my at uh, is less than one, or if the dot position is less than the at position plus two, or if the dot position is plus two is bigger than the text length we are going to say that this is not a valid email address and I'm going to explain why each of the conditions now this one basically means that the app uh, symbol must not be the first character of the email address so if the position of at is less than one so basically equals zero in the index source that means that whatever the user inputted here is at blah 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 which is not a valid email structure so that checks whether or not the position of at is in the right place or at least not at the front the next one okay basically says that the position of the dot must be after the position of the sign so dot pause must be less than the app pause plus two because uh after at pause you have like at gmail or at hotmail you this you, with this you can check whether or not the last dot is after the what do you call it uh the at sign and with this as well you can check that uh there's minimum of two characters after the position of the last dot okay so for example someone said blah 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 at blah 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 dot and that's it this exceeds uh, the text length dot plus plus two is going to exceed the text length because there's nothing after this okay hopefully you get that that's not a valid email structure because you have like dot com or dot uh, co dot uk or something like that let's delete this so this checks that the position of the app mark is valid this checks these two actually checks that uh, one the dot is the last dot is after the app symbol and that there's a minimum of two characters before the after the uh, the last dot position okay and if that fails or if one of them fails it's going to say please enter valid email address because if it's a valid any valid email address it's going to uh, it's going to come out with false on all these three and it won't trigger this alert oh it, code it's going it's not going to execute this okay so let's save our work and refresh and it's going to come up with these form resubmission because we have like uh, a form with some attributes and just press confirm or okay or whatever and it's fine now let's uh try submit and it says please enter a valid email address because it's not following the rules now let's say uh blah 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 so i entered something but it's going to say please enter e valid email address because there's no uh, at symbols or not no dots and it's not uh returning false on these ones so it's uh, uh, giving uh, the alert box or the alert uh, yeah it's an alert box now let's say uh, hello at uh, gmail dot and stop and let's submit although this at sign is after the is not what you call it at the beginning of our text because there's nothing after this dot it it's going to give me 
a failure again. So let's say hello at gmail.com and submit. And it works because the hello at gmail.com is the correct structure or a general uh, syntax structure for your email. So that was a quick video on creating a, a, a function to validate a correct email in your form.